I'll give you the history. Um, in 1987, I was assigned to the Pentagon uh, at the Defense Intelligence Agency, and uh, we were in charge of pretty much everything in the Middle East. And in 1987, the Defense Intelligence Agency did an assessment that if Iran launched another offensive, which we expected in the spring of 1988, every year the Iranians launched an offensive, uh, we believed that they would be able to move from where they were on the Fal Peninsula, take El Basra, and then move closer to Baghdad. Uh, we believed that if they did that, they might win the war. There was a, a report uh, sent over to the White House, and uh, Ronald Reagan, president at the time, decided that an Iranian victory was unacceptable to American foreign policy. So um, in early 1988, I and another officer were sent to Baghdad to make contact with the Iraqi military intelligence service and offer military uh, – offer intelligence information to the Iraqi armed forces. Uh, I went to Baghdad. We made contact with the deputy director of military intelligence, and uh, he accepted our offer, and uh, I began providing the intelligence to the Iraqis. Great. Um, what exactly precipitate, precipitated the move in 87 to take this uh, next step to, to closely collaborate with the forces of Iraq? Well, we, we had been watching the Iraqis follow this war you know, very closely, but by 1987, it was obvious to us that the Iraqis were no longer in a position to, to survive. Uh, it looked to us like the Iranians had finally gotten the upper hand, and uh, they, were, they were every year just pushing the Iraqis further and further back. And uh, the report we wrote was called uh, At the Gates of Basra. And we thought that Basra was the key, particularly in the south. And if the Iranians were able to push, they had already, they were already had taken the Fal Peninsula. And we figured the next move would be to take Basra and then roll up that road right up the uh, the uh, valleys to Baghdad. So we were very concerned that uh, we were watching an Iranian victory in progress. And um, what what did you personally? Uh, I mean, after all these years. What has dawned on you, besides the other information that has come through through the years, that it could be new information right now about that particular type, space of time? Well, you know, what we did back then has pretty much come out. It's, it's, there's not much that's left to tell. Uh, it was a very short-lived operation. We began it uh, very early in 1988, and it ended in uh, late August of 1988 when the war ended, when the fighting stopped. Uh, we stopped our uh, relationship. The military stopped our relationship with the Iraqis. I understand the Central Intelligence Agency. They maintain some sort of re relationship with the Iraqis after that. But the Defense Intelligence Agency, my relationship with the Iraqis, ended uh, when the war ended. So it was a very short-lived thing. Uh, it was, and we, our point of view, from the American point of view, it was very successful because we were able to provide, uh, I think, and to the Iraqis that enabled them to strike the Iranians at the right places to blunt the offensive. The offensive never occurred because the Iraqi, mostly the Iraqi Air Force, were, was able to stop the Iranian logistics that were uh, necessary to launch that spring offensive, which never came. How, how off the mark were the Iraqis uh, without your intelligence? Um, that's a really good question. It, it's hard to say because you know you don't know um, what what could have been if you if you hadn't done something. But I think we assisted the Iraqis in in uh, blunting the Iranian offensive. Now, could they have done it without our help? I don't know. I tend to think not so. I think the Iranians probably would have won the war had we not uh, had we not helped. <laughs>